Hey everybody, it's SEO Track Kid here with Team of the Season Review, and as you can tell by the screen, I'm reviewing Team of the Season Dead A. Uh, used to be the most overpowered player in the game in FIFA 13 and everything like that, but he has a Team of the Season this year, and he has 72 pace, 59 shooting, 76 passing, 68 dribbling, 85 defending, and 87 heading, which is really good stats for an 83 overall card. He's six foot four, medium high work rates, right footed, two star weak foot, two star skill moves. I bought him for around 27,000 coins. I'm not, I think his price will go down a lot. And I played four games with him, got four goals, so I'm averaging a goal a game with him, which is just crazy for a center back. And uh, this team I played him in, if you haven't checked out the Team of Season Akin Fiv, uh review, go check that out. And before I get on with re this review or anything like that, I just want to thank uh, Tom B. Uh, for playing me and helping me get some clips and everything on here. He played me, and he's a really good player and everything like that. And I just wanted to give you a shout-out for uh, playing me. If you guys want to play me in FIFA and help me get clips, just uh, comment your gamer tag below for Xbox 360, and I might play you guys. But uh, going on to the game stats, he has 90 uh, free kick accuracy, 90 heading accuracy. Um, I'm pretty sure it said 96 uh, standing tackling, which is really nice. Uh, 96 strength, which is also really nice also. So his in-game stats look really good and everything. He also has 89 aggression and 89 interceptions. And he had some really nice free kick stats earlier too. But uh, going on to some of the pros I found for him. First pro was definitely uh, just his heading in general. His heading was just so good and everything like that. I was really surprised. Well, I was kind of surprised, I guess. Uh, he's 6'4", and he has like 87 heading. So I shouldn't be that surprised. But his heading was so good and everything like that. I scored four goals with his headers uh, from corners, I think. And he just is so easy to win headers and everything like that. Uh, he doesn't really even jump at all. He just wins them automatically. Like right there, he just wins the header really easily. And uh, he also wins uh, headers when the other team like tries to cross the ball and everything like that really easily also. So uh, his heading is awesome. Another thing I found was his defending, actually. His defending was really nice. He's able to get those slide tackles and standing tackling really easily. And uh, his defending actually was a lot better than what I thought it was going to be. The first game I played with him, he just wasn't able to tackle really well, and then the next few games, I started like being able to tackle with him a little bit better, and uh, his tackling really showed a little bit more. But uh, another thing I found was actually his pace. 72 pace doesn't really sound like the best, but it doesn't really sound like the worst, and he's able to keep up with most people and everything like that. I didn't find his pace to really be a problem or anything like that. I didn't really see it to be a plus too much either, though. Um, it was just normal pace and everything like that, and I feel like defending and heading, like, is more important in this game than uh, pace actually for defenders. So uh, his his pace was decent, and everything like that. Another thing I found was his strength. He's able to bully off a lot of people and everything like that, which is really nice. You want that for your defender and everything like that. And uh, he has 96 strength, so he's gonna be able to bully off most people and everything like that, which is awesome. And the last thing I found was he has some really nice free kick stats. Unfortunately, I didn't get any free kicks with him, or I probably would have scored actually with him if I would have gotten any free kicks, because his free kicks are really nice. I think he has like 87 power, 90 curve, and 90 free kick accuracy, something like that. Something crazy for a center back. So he can definitely take your free kicks. The only con I found for this guy was he's kind of out of position sometimes and kind of disappears, which is kind of annoying and everything like that. But if I was going to rate him, I'd definitely give him a 9.0. He's a really good go uh not goalkeeper, a center back actually, and uh, the out position and disappearing isn't really that big of a deal, and I feel like a lot of people are going to buy this guy because he's Brazilian, and most people know him from last FIFA and everything like that, and stats look really nice and everything, and a nice well-rounded uh, center back, so if you guys did enjoy this, please leave a like, uh, comment below who you want me to review next, and I'll see you guys later, bye.